To those fixed on white, white is white. To those fixed on black, it is the same. And red is red, yellow, yellow. Surely there are such sights in the many-colored world, or in the mind. The strange thing is that these people never see themselves, or you, or me. Are they not in their minds? Are we not in the world? This is a curious blindness for those that are colorblind. What odd passions, what queer beliefs that men who believe in sights disbelieve in seers. O oh, people, if you but used your other eyes, you would see beings. A monumental figure in African American literature, Gene Toomer was born in Washington, D.C., the grandson of the first governor of African American descent in the United States of America. A poet, playwright, and novelist, Toomer's most famous work, Kane, was published in 1923 and was hailed by critics for his literary experimentation and also the portrayal of African American character and culture. As a child, Toomer attended both all white and all black third grade schools. A descendant of both white and black heritage, his father left his family when he was only one year old, leaving Gene to be raised by his mother and grandfather. After graduating from Dunbar High School, a highly regarded all-black institution, Toomer began traveling extensively, attending colleges over the next few years in Wisconsin, Massachusetts, Chicago, and finally New York, where he wrote and published many short stories, plays, and poems. His best-known work during this time was a long poem called Blue and Rainbow, which captured his hopes and dreams for racial unity and also urging that in America there is the possibility for a new world vision wherein all barriers people will overcome. In 1922, he moved to Sparta, Georgia to become a school principal. It was from this trip to the South that he began writing heavily about living as an African American in the rural South, where he would create the poems, prose poems, lyrical narratives, and short stories, eventually ending with the publication of his most famous work, Pain, an experimental collection of these stories and poems. It was hailed by critics and seen as a significant part of the Harlem Renaissance. In 1940, Toomer joined the Quakers, who were a sustaining comfort and influence throughout the rest of his life. He lectured for Religious Society of Friends and wrote extensively for Quakers' publications in 1940s and 1950s. Toomer was married twice to Marguerite Lattimore in 1931, who died in childbirth in 1932, with whom he had one daughter, and then to Marjorie Content in 1934. Embittered by the persistence of racial prejudice, he stopped writing and claimed an American identity. Many have accused him of denying his ethnic heritage. For him, that was the way to claim a multicultural identity and not a racial one. Toomer stopped writing literacy works in 1950 and sadly died in 1967. In 2002, Toomer was inducted into the George Writers Hall of Fame. Although he wrote throughout his life, Toomer's writing Monumental plays, poetry, and short fiction would remain unpublished until the mid-1960s, until a scholar acquired too much papers for Fisk University in Nashville, Tennessee. Kane was reissued for the first time in paperback in 1969 and has become a classic text for African American studies. Gene Toomer will forever remain one of the greatest poets to ever live. The end.